Hey, 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 what's going on, wellness peeps? Thanks for tuning in. I'm Wendy, and this is Holistic and Well. This is my channel. This is where we talk about cultivating better health through intentional wellness, herbalism, and self-healing. If this is your first time tuning in, I super appreciate it. You've turned in into a great episode because we are talking the beginning of van life. And I am super excited to get this going. It's been a project that's been um, on the back burner for a really long time. And about three months ago, I just said, fuck it. Let's just do it. Let's, let's do it and see what happens. Worst case scenario, um, I come back, I lick my wounds, I get back into the groove of things. Best case scenario, I travel around, I meet new people, I have experiences and I have a blast. And that's the scenario I'm going for. So I wanna give you a little bit of background information about kind of how I got to where I am. First and foremost, I have watched hundreds of videos about van life, trying to understand how people get to where they are, understanding why they chose the vehicle that they chose. Actually, it's not even just about van life, it's about vehicle life, it's about vehicular dwelling. People are getting tired of being on this capitalistic hamster wheel where they go to work to pay an astronomical amount for their shelter because shelter and food, let's face it, those are the two things that we need the most. But when you're spending all your money on shelter and there's only pennies left over, the quality of life sucks. And that's kind of where I was, is I really wanted to be able to condense my resources into a pool that allow me to explore the world and see the world and see what's going on. Um, and so that's what I did, made that jump. My lease expired at the end of February. I'm like, and it's been hard. It's been anxiety provoking. It's been challenging that have I made the right decision? Have I made the right choice? Um, I still don't know if I have. I feel like I have. I'm pretty calm on the inside considering I've got, my crap is in three different places and, but it's materialistic stuff and I really am like on this journey that materialistic stuff is beginning to mean less and less and experiences and relationships are really beginning to mean more and more to me. So that's where I am with that journey. But I've watched hundreds of hours of videos on how people have come to this decision. And initially I was gonna do it in a camper van. Bought a camper van, camper van got stolen, shut that down. Um, wanted a particular kind of van uh, just because of the research I did. And one of the things that was super important to me was I could stand up. Now, for everybody that knows me, I'm almost midget status, but let me tell you it's important for me to be able to stand up. Um, so you know what? I'm not even gonna tell you any more about it. I'm just gonna take you on a quick view of what she looks like right now. She's a work in progress, and I'm super excited and scared to show you and um, bring you into my space. But here we go. So here she is. She is a 2002 GMC Savannah 1500 van. I bought her from a couple who had just lost their son who had planned on um, becoming part of van life. He and I had very similar um, views and dreams on what to do with this van. So it was very exciting that I was able to buy this from a couple who kind of understood what I was trying to do. So here she is from the inside, uh, the back butterfly doors. As you can see, totally gutted out, but I loved the big windows on both sides. Um, it was nice that everything was out, so I did not have to do a lot in terms of gutting when I got her. Now this is when I went ahead and put the underlayment down for the floor. A lot of videos suggested that you take it down to the bare metal. I elected to just keep the carpet down and just put the underlayment right on top of the carpet. And then I did just some cheap um, 12 inch vinyl tiles on top of the underlayment. So this is an awesome little dresser that I got from Habitat. I converted it into my kitchen space. Water's underneath, dry goods, perishables. Um, it was super inexpensive and I just primed it and put some paint on it. So this is a view from the back. I've got the ceiling covered. 
I have got the bed frame has been built. That area up above the red line is going to be the storage area that we have to get finished off probably um, when I would back to Springfield in April. So this is from the side view where the butterfly doors are. This is the platform bed. I am going to special order a mattress to fit those dimensions. And then the now the storage underneath I had to do a little bit of thinking about. The left hand side with the tubs are stacking under the bed tubs that I really like. They have like a hinge in the middle and both the flaps open up on the side so I can pull them out and store clothing, towels, whatever. That middle section is going to be for Blue's Kennel. When you're a Husky and you get an attitude, sometimes you need an attitude adjustment. So you get to go to your room and that will be his room. He'll have a nice soft comfy pillow. And then on the other side there is the wheel well and a small sliver of storage space as well. Alright, so you've seen the inside of Savannah. Now it's about six by it's right around about 40 to 45 square feet back there um yeah <laughs> getting accustomed to it but as you see there's some things in place to kind of uh figure out storage and that kind of thing so i'm not worried still working on it um I'll give you an update as we bring her together a little bit more. But I did want to talk a little bit about kind of why am I choosing van life? Um, so, man, I read something probably last week that I thought was super cool and I had never heard of it before. Now, <clears throat> We've all heard of the term sabbatical and that, you know, we basically put our life on hold. We go up into the mountains, we find ourselves, we come back and bing, bing, boom, we're all better. And I'm not necessarily trying to do that. I feel very comfortable with who I am, but I am taking what this phrase is a wellness sabbatical. And that is that I have chosen to go this journey because um, I've really wanted to for a long time is kind of be nomadic, see things, experience things. And I'm just kind of at a place of where, you know, and I don't know if it's just the place I am in my journey, if it's my age or what's going on, but like really slimming and trimming down on stuff and really tuning in to experience and experiences and people and really being intentional about living moment by moment. So that's kind of what this wellness sabbatical is for me is that I'm able to trim down, have just the necessities, which is a challenge because I'm kind of that what if person, like what if this happens, what if that happens, you'll need this, you'll need that. And in 40 square feet, you can't really be a what if person. You have exactly what you need and if you think you need something or you find yourself needing something later, then you deal with it at that time. So that's what I'm working on in my journey is kind of evolving and coming out of that what if place and that that's a place of anxiety and that's a place of wanting to control. Um, so being able to evolve and come out of that space is part of what I'm trying to accomplish with this is really just having that journey of self-discovery, self-exploration, self-challenge. Um, but also at the same time being able to see and do and experience things that ordinarily I maybe not, might not be able to do. Um, I definitely haven't made a secret that I am a beach girl and the plan is to go west um, probably mid-summer to late summer. This has been so far enjoyable in that when you're a person that that gives and constantly takes care of and nurtures others, you tend to forget how to allow others to nurture you. So I'm relearning that and that's a positive thing. So two weeks ago I was with family, right now I'm with a sister friend and allowing people to nurture you and um, kind of empower you and support you in your journey is a really cool thing because I'm kind of the one that does that all the time. So 
I'm enjoying allowing them to do that and learning that that is part of their journey as well. So try not to get emotional. <laughs> but anywho, that's the update of what's going on in my world right now. Um, I'm going to try to put these up every Sunday uh, to give you an update. I'll probably be doing some work in the van this week. Um, and as things change and things are added, I will definitely keep you in the loop so you can see. If you have any comments or questions, I am very happy to ask them. I am very, very new to this lifestyle as well. I haven't even officially stayed in my van yet. Um, I've got to, like I said earlier, I've got to get the mattress so I can get the bed up and make it comfortable so that, because as we all know, sleep is one of those four pillars of health and I got to have my rest. So. Anywho, I'm kind of rambling. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. But um, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Stay tuned Wednesday. I'm going to talk a little bit about managing anxiety and all of the pandemic frenzy. So enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.